Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I'm looking at all of this food right here. What do you do after you've had, oh yes, you've had a football game, a baseball game, you've had all these chips and you have back. Well, actually you could do this beforehand or afterwards, <laughs> depending on what you're doing. Beforehand you're making a huge batch. Afterwards you're you know using a lot of dollars. So what do we have right here? We've got all of this peeled ground tomatoes. You could also use salsa. Refried beans, onions, we've got cooking cream, a sesame blend, as well as, okay, something that was almost a hamburger. Somebody <laughs> ate half of it. Who, who would that be? I got no idea. We were planning on something else, and so we're using other leftovers because somebody ate my hamburger. And, and since I didn't know, would I have eaten part of it? Yeah, she actually it may, she may have ate part of it. I remember said, she said something about having some beef. Oh, I needed some beef. There, it, there are certain times, I just, just like, I have it, a and The refrigerator is filled full of steaks. Yeah. And so she ate my hamburger. We're just going to put that in for about a minute and a half. Uh, and you know, there's the, Somebody's coffee in here. Well, I know. And then we're just going to chop up the onion. Yeah, and this you always do. I know, we just get our coffee out of the way. Out of the way. I wonder whose coffee that could be. Holly, who would that be? Who forgot to get it out, so. Mm -hmm. Generally, we don't let her cut things. Because her ideas and our ideas on what small pieces are are not the same. Well, because this is onions and it's going to something like that. Yeah. You're going to cook it, they're going to be smaller pieces. Well, yeah, they've got to get chopped. Like, we give her the, the serrated blade because... I wish I had the chopper, but that's okay, this will work like this. Yeah, well, because she... It get up on it. it, it, it I try not to use all those knives. Yeah, well, we try to give her any... Not things that she can really kill herself with, so... <laughs> I know she's really making a mess. She, she just never understands being gentle. What? You don't have to really get it really hard. You don't have to do that to make it cut. She can just Well, don't move. I know, but it moves. I, I, I'm just amazed at how, how, how basically she makes it go all over the place when I just simply do it in little. I know that's so. Don't worry, folks. That's going to go in with the hamburger in a few minutes. So let's get. They're going what? Now let's get your hamburger out and put that in on with it. We generally have a thing called a bash and chop that we would use, but yeah, where would our bash and chop go? It's over probably where it's always is unless somebody's moved it. Okay. So I'm old. I tend to forget some things, so. So we're just putting this in here. Let's mix it all together. Put your little fork or a little and knife. Fork, fork, I use a knife for everything. And we're gonna go hot it up again for about another. 30 seconds, and then we're going to start bringing the other stuff out. We're going to add it in layers, folks. Mm -hmm. Well, the other stuff is already cooked. I know. See, some of you guys think of it as like a seven-layer dip. Yeah. Right? Well, Which just means you have more layers. But it doesn't have to be seven layers. How long? No, uh, uh, just about 30 seconds, because there's going to be more. more cooking to do in a second. So how many layers you use depends on how many products you have. How many things are open. Yeah. So I always love to make like a guacamole layer or a sour cream layer, except um, we don't have avocados. Oh, we have we, no sour cream. But although we're using cooking cream, which actually works magnificently. We do have a lot of grapes because... I don't think grapes will work too well with this. I know, but that's what we do have a lot of. But one of the things that we're using is because you know how you open the bag of chips as they go stale on you? Yeah. So now we're I know. But this, now we just put, um, put your uh, re refried beans in. That's why the knife. It's actually easier to get this out with the knife than with a spoon. Yeah. You're going, what? Uh-huh. Because you can clear the whole thing out with a knife much easier.
ready and then we'll put it in and heat it on high for about a, a minute. Because remember this stuff is actually already cooked. That's Everything right. there is cooked. We're just reheating. Are we heating it because then it gets kind of it layers out? No, you, then you can, I guess you get your plate or whatever you want to use to... Are we putting the tomatoes in No, that's in going in last in on top of the other stuff. Oh, you can make cold. your nacho... No. It's going to go in last on top of the other stuff and get warmed. Oh. It's the last part. Do you want a big plate, small plate? Well, whatever size you think you... Actually, get a bigger plate. That way you won't make as much of a mess. Because you can just put in a center. You put it on a big plate, then you need to make it bigger. No, but I know. She makes it bigger instead of making it... We give her little plates and she goes over the side. <laughs> we give her big plates and she fills entirely up. So you can start to make your little nacho. Because we've had this thing since the Super Bowl. You see, part of it is you want to get rid of these. It's like, okay, so you have a hard time throwing it away. This is the perfect thing for when you're cooking with your family. Yeah. Or you're having a party or something. Yeah. Like, you can just put them in and then you can just put them in the fridge. Yeah. Right? So if you put some all over the chips, yeah. it makes them a little bit soggy and they don't have to be fresh. And then we just put that. Uh-huh, because sometimes that happens, right? Yeah. And we just get your thing out and um, put a layer of your... Tomato, right? It's chopped tomatoes. Oh, nice. Can you get this one when you, you do the photo one and use that as the base? I know, so good. <laughs> we're, we're definitely going to get all of it done because, you know, now we're going to heat that up for a couple of minutes. Oh, yum, 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 yum. And then what we'll do is we'll just simply, you know, while that's heating, then we'll go clean up the area. Okay. I know. It smells good. Isn't that entertaining to watch? Yeah, I guess you'd probably get a bigger spoon out so you can ladle it because it's all in layers. So when you put it on the top, or do you want a big spoon? I guess. Oh, a, you, a bigger spoon. A ladle. A bigger spoon like that. A bigger spoon so that you can reach in and pull out. Like I said, everything has already been cooked. So, and all you do is you just reach in like that and pull out an entire layer. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, there she goes. So and then you put your cheese stuff on the, the top. So actually... And this is a Santa Fe cooking cream. So. Ooh, actually for a change, we actually get a good picture. Well, and actually see, part of it is, is we use these um, tomatoes. You can also use salsa. Yeah, but we had an open can. Of, we had a can that was open before somebody discovered there was nothing to use with it. Oh, that'll be good like that. And so when that discovery was made, then changes have to... See, we when we cook, we are... we are Why well, we've never had a failure? <laughs> because we simply change the recipe. <laughs> so we never fail. We just change the way mm -hmm. we were doing it. And it should be different layers of warmth there also. Mm -hmm. Some parts are cool. Well, the, the tomatoes are much cooler than everything else. And then the mm -hmm. cold, really cold, is on mm -hmm. the top. See? Hottest is on the bottom. Well, here's your tip I have. Mm. If your chips are really stale, cover them with all this other stuff. Yeah. Right? If they're fresh, it's not as important. Yeah. <laughs> no, but this, they, okay. This is, this is July. These have been sitting there since February. Mm hmm But it's a way to still use the chips. Because we've always planned to use the chips. They were basically meant to be busted up and put with a hamburger. We were making, but um, well, that's gonna work too. But what happened was meat got too high, mm -hmm. and because meat got too high, we didn't buy a hamburger. So therefore, I know. See, mm -hmm. people see the swimsuit top setting over there, and Mont and uh, Monty stuff mm -hmm. setting there. So mm -hmm. this is a real working kitchen. So I'll show you. I really like these these cooking blends. These are by Kraft Philadelphia cooking creams. I know. Since we discovered, I'm gonna have to. She likes why she did. So this is really good. Oh, oh, I guess I should tell you. <laughs> okay. These are game leftovers. <laughs> yeah, game. Our, our magic Mike party leftovers too. No. I think. I mean, there's no these magic. Are like I know. I'm hung up on magic Mike parties at the moment. These are like. Yeah, you've been going to, huh? No. These are like tailgate leftovers. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. From the football season. <laughs> <laughs> or basketball. Yeah. 
basketball season or party leftovers? Party leftovers. I mean, they just leftovers. Everything this was is, leftovers, except this is for a dip. A yeah. leftover dip. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, bon appetit. Enjoy. <laughs>